What's up, guys? So until recently, I used Telescope as a fuzzy finder in NeoVim, but I found a use case or more, more, I found a limitation of Telescope that really made me switch to something else. A little spoiler alert, this is about switching from Telescope to FCF Lua and to understand why I did that and why you might consider changing too, I think I'm going to show you a little example of the exact limitation that I'm talking about, at least the one that I found, okay? So... Let's go into the code a little bit. So as you see here, I have a little solution and within my solution, I have a couple of projects and the use case I'm talking about is I have a certain NuGet package and I want to find out what projects in my solution refer to that NuGet package, right? And usually I would go and I would say, fuzzy find do a live grab on the name of the NuGet package, which goes by name Rambo uh, utils testing and as you see actually I only want to have CS project files it's the only thing I'm interested in but I, I get all these other things as well I get 16 results that somehow have the string Rambo utils in them and what I would do now to get only the CS proj results I would go and put it into the quick fix window with control Q and then do something like telescope quick fix to sort again through my quick fix results and then I would go for the file uh, extension of csproj csproj maybe dot csproj yeah and now I would have the final results that I actually wanted right and assuming I would have more than one csproj file my solution that meets that criteria I would now put then in this thing into a new quick fix window and now I would have what I wanted so this is kind of cumbersome, right? If you do that over and over again one time, you, you could just get tired of that. And the other way you could get around that a little bit more would be you... Just let me close that real quick. You would go, of course, for the file extension itself, right? File extension first, yes, proj. But now you see, it's getting even worse, right? I mean, I get the I get the CS proj at the first top top five results, but I get 50 results out of uh, almost 600 because I get all the fuzzy finding as well, right? I don't want, I don't want none of these. I'm actually looking so lightly for the CS proj files. So this to me feels even worse and actually what would help me in this case would be to, to, to just tell Telescope, give me the exact string match. I don't want to have fuzzy finding in here. I just want to have the exact strings in my results. And the problem with that is I first asked JetGPT to, to help me with that. And it told me to, to hard code the csproj file extension into my NeoVim configuration whenever I fuzzy find files. And I don't want to do that. And then I went on Reddit and on Reddit they told me that there is a plugin to have the the hard coded thing in a, in a more dynamic fashion, which also is is overkill to me. I just want to have exact string match. Um, I couldn't find anything online, at least quickly, that helped me with that. So I said, you know, fuck it. <laughs> um, maybe I'm just gonna have to look for something else. And this something else is FCF Lua, right? In FCF Lua, it's really simple with two lines of configuration to, to just tell them, give me exact string matches. Um, and to show you what I mean, I'm gonna switch in my configuration to, what is that, one configuration. I use the FCF Lua configuration just to demonstrate to you. Open the project again, do the fire search again, and then type in CS Pro, and that, now I get. This is what I actually want. And this is so much easier in FCF Lua than it is in Telescope. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna install FCF Lua, we're gonna migrate from Telescope to FCF Lua, and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can use in FCF Lua that you just cannot use in Telescope. So we're gonna end up at the end of the video with an extremely quick version of the referenced packages search that I just showed you, okay? So let's jump in. So trick number one, something that you can do with SAF Lua, um, you see that I have here in my search results, the files with the correct file extension. So I can put this now, I mean, you can do this in Telescope too, but I put this now into the quick fix window. So I have a key binding for this already. So what I can do now is I can live grab through the results and now I can simply type in Rambo 
utils testing, right? So this is the actual end result I want to have. This was quick enough just to demonstrate once more, just to see how fast it was. Let me close this one real quick. Again, uh, I'm at point zero right now. I look for the files with the right extension. CS Proj. Put this in the quick fix window with a control Q. Boom. And now I live grab through the quick fix window. This string I actually want to search for, right? Rambo utils testing. Fast enough. Fast enough. There's one more trick that you can do. I'll show you at the end of the video. For now, just let's install FCF Lua, okay? So I go to my new configuration. So in my plugins in it Lua, plugins, oopsies, plugins uh, in it Lua right here, you see already all you have to do is you add these lines. You get these from the Git repository of FCF Lua or from the article that I have in the description. And this is the default configuration for that. So that was the installment, right? Uh, the next thing is the actual mapping. So when I go and search for mappings, you see that already I have two different mapping files. And maybe I open the mapping. I have FCF Lua and I have mappings telescope. And I keep those in for demonstration purposes. And the you will find that anything you can do in telescope, there's a one-to-one -one equivalent for FCF Lua. So when I now go into the mappings FCF Lua, FCF Lua, you see that there's different sections. So number one is down here, override NVChat. This overrides the mappings from NVChat because NVChat uses telescope. Boom, boom, boom. And one that is from me is the Q capital O, which does the, here you go, live grab quick fix. This is the one I just demonstrated here. Yeah, this, this is the live grab through the quick fix results. The other things are just my personal preferences. Um, there is a link in the article as well where you find all the other pickets and all the other things that you can do with FCF Lua. There's also uh, YouTube videos from other creators showing exactly how to bind them and really is very straightforward. I will not go into that right now. The important part for demonstration was the live rare quick fix and the fact that you can have anything you want to do with Telescope also with FCF Lua, okay? Now, the next thing that I find worth mentioning is the customization of uh, FCF Lua. And also, you, you'll find it in the article as well. I'm just going to show you right now. When I go to the init Lua, init, init Lua, then you somewhere have the FCF, there we go. And you configure FCF Lua by requiring FCF Lua and then running the setup method. If you don't want to configure FCF Lua, you don't need this whole thing. You, you just don't need this. The pure fact that in your mappings, where's the mappings? Here's the mappings. You require FCF Lua in the mappings. This is enough to make it run. It's just if you want to configure it, you would have to go to the to the init Lua file and require it here and call the setup method, okay? So the first configuration I made is I configured the window for the search results, right? So when I search something, you see it's full screen and you see that you have a little bit more space for the preview of the file that you're looking at than you have for the, for the results, right? So some slight little configuration here for that. And the other thing is that I was talking about at the beginning of the video, uh, for the file picker, which you find in the mappings, where's the mappings? Here's the mappings. Is it the mappings? These are the mappings. Yeah, you find it here. One of the many pickers is files, and you can configure any picker here in the setup method. From a personal preference, I just configured files, and I just want to have files to be an exact match. So these few, these few lines right here do exactly what I want, what I couldn't do in Telescope, meaning any file search gives me exact results, right? So the other thing is I put search results into the quick fix window with control Q. Otherwise, if you do not configure the key map for this, it would be alt Q. Okay, so this, this is all, this is my configuration. Again, on the FCF Lua page, you find everything very well explained. So this is my personal setup. So another thing that you can find in the article that is linked in the description to this video, uh, you will find the fixing the C-sharp language server section 
And this is something that didn't even happen on all my machines. It happened on my laptop. Now I cannot, I cannot demonstrate it to you because I cannot reproduce it on my workstation, which I'm recording this video on. Is just, just remember that FCF Lua should, should be running flawlessly with the Lua language server and with the OmniSharp language server. But with the C Sharp language server, I had the problem. What is that? Minus 3262 argument out of range exception. And this is something the C Sharp language server throws at you in the moment you install. FCF Lua via LazyVim and then restart an, an open NeoVim and try to open any C-sharp file, right? And what seems to happen is that the C-sharp language server is receiving a position from NeoVim that doesn't exist in the underlying document. The underlying document is the C-sharp file that you open in NeoVim. And as it seems, FCF Lua sends the C-sharp language server one of the lines from its preview hidden windows who are not visible by the c -sharp language server. And then, you know, it tries to look for lines that don't exist and it goes poof. And in case that happens, in case that happens, here, here's the fix. I have it even in my, I have it in my Lua configs, LSP config. The thing you have to do, you tell the c -sharp language server that it only looks for the file type CS and it only looks for the buffer, the buffer type empty. And buffer type empty is the normal buffer, is the one you normally open in NeoVim. And once you have this in place, it ignores all the other buffers and whatever whatever preview buffers are opened by FCF Lua and just works normally. So you put this function into the into your LSP config. And then the unattached method, you assign the C sharp unattached, this one, this function right here. And then you should be good. Okay? So the other fixing section in the article is the fixing OmniSharp section, okay? So um, it might be, it might be, you update OmniSharp with Mason, and then what happens is you try to open any C-sharp file with the new of him, and you get this. Spawning language server with command OmniSharp, doop 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 doop. The language server is either not installed, missing from path, not executable. But when you check it, then you see that, you know, it's actually installed. You see local, share, NeoVim, Mason, packages, OmniShot, do, 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 do. But the thing is, since, since some version, since recently, I don't know why, the execute pull of OmniSharp is written in Pascal case and not all lowercase anymore. And that's the whole thing. It took me, I know, I know it seems mundane and it is mundane, but it took me hours <laughs> to, to find that, okay? So the old version of loading OmniSharp into LSP would be with lowercase. And the fix for this thing right here, after you update it to any version that is uh, 1.39 something, the fix for that is to use Pascal case right here. I know most of you, for most of you, will just work. You will not run into this for the, for the viewer for you who are running into that, this is the solution for that, at least it was a solution for me. So now finally, what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the fastest, at least the fastest I could find, the fastest way to come to the search result that I was looking for, I live grab for the string that I was looking for, right? I go and I live grab and I say Rambo utils testing. And I have my 16 results right here. And now what I can do in FCF Lua that I cannot do in Telescope, at least I don't know. If there's a way, please let me know. I do a little Control G right here, boom, and filter through the files that I actually want to scan for my string, right? So I'm going to tell FCF Lua, only look for the string in csproj files. And this is exactly what my problem was in the beginning of the video, right? And now I could, I could, I only have one result, so I just press enter. Also, I could just put this into another quick fix window. And from there on, just do whatever I need to do with that. Right now I only have one file, I hit enter, boom, case closed, right? So again, just to show you how fast it is, life wrap, Rambo, utils, control G, csproj, boom. That, that was fast, right? So just to mention that, this is the official GitHub page from the FCF Lua plugin. And it really contains all the, it really does contain all the information you need to make FCF Lua your own. And somewhere it has 
someone has i just type in git or something i just type in git yeah you have all the commands under under commands <laughs> you have all the commands everything that you can fuzzy find through with fc flow and there's it's really a lot you have you know you have your search you have your grab things you have uh, the search for buffers and files and everything and it's it's really straightforward to use just just one more thing that might be the most important command to get started with the thing that i find i find really helpful is this So when I go to the mappings FCF Lua file right here, then you see the last binding I have, the last key mapping, which is lead a question mark, and it goes to the FCF Lua built in. And what it does is, if I if I execute, then I get a list of everything that you can do with FCF Lua. So if I just type in Git, I get all the Git stuff that I can do with a different file, I get everything that I can do with files, and through that you see if you have 102 commands that you that you can do with FCF Lua. And this gives you the opportunity to really tailor whatever workflows you need in your particular scenario, whatever whatever you need to fuzzy find through and really build your own workflows. So I think that's a really nice little thing to have. And it, it, de depending on what the command does, different things happen when you hit enter. So I'm not going to hit anything right now. I'm going to be really careful <laughs> which how I use them. But yeah, a lot of, lot of them is really self-explanatory. And again, check out the documentation of the, of the plugin. I think it's really great and really feels good using over Telescope. I'm not saying Telescope is a bad plugin, but by far not. Like I used it the past couple of months. And it's really like this first time that I really got annoyed by its limitations. And maybe that will be a fix in future. Maybe there is already a fix and I just don't know. But so far, I'm really, really happy with what FCF Lua gives me. And you might want to give it a shot as well. So that was it for now. I wish you all a lovely rest of the week and bye-bye.